Hi, we're in Microsoft Excel, and in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways of creating a frequency distribution table together with a histogram chart. So I've got our local horticultural club, and I want to look at the distribution of ages. Now, the first method does require a little bit more effort than the second method, but you'll see ultimately I think it's a little bit better. The first thing you need is your age brackets or what a histogram chart would call bins. And what we want is age brackets of 10 years. So I'm just going to write over here bin size. And I'll say that's 10 years. Now the first age I'm going to put in is 25. And that bin will reflect the age bracket 0 to 25. To get the other bins, all I'm going to do is say equals this value plus the bin size, and I'll lock the reference to that bin size. And I'll copy down. I only need to go up to 85, and then I'll just write more. So this will be my overflow bin. Now, if you're going to create a histogram chart, you'll want some better bin labels than the ones we've got here just to make the age brackets really obvious. So this bin here is any age less than or equal to 25. Uh, this bin here is the age bracket 26 to 35. Then this is 36 to 45. Now to create those labels, we can write some little formulas. So we say less than or equal to ampersand this value here. Then the label for this bin would be equals this value here plus one ampersand and in speech marks a dash ampersand this bin value here. And that gives me 26 to 35. And then what I can do is just copy this down. And I get nice clear bin labels for my chart. And then this last one here is the overflow bin. So it would be equals greater than, in quotation marks, ampersand this value here. So I'll just copy this heading. Now let's just move this over a little bit. Column G. Now I need to work out how many members are in each of these age brackets. I'll call this number of members. So this is where we are working out the frequency distribution. And I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. The first method will work if you're in Excel 365. And then I'll show you a second method, slightly different, that will work for earlier versions of Excel. Excel 365, you just click in this first cell here, and you're going to use the frequency function. Data array, so that's the data that you're doing the frequency distribution calculation for. So if I click in the first age there, control shift down arrow key to select down to the last age, control backspace to take me back to the active cell, comma, bins array. So that's these age brackets here. Close the bracket, press enter. And there we are, it's done the calculations for you. Now, let me just delete that. If you're not using Excel 365, you're using an earlier version, method is slightly different. You're still going to use the frequency function, but select all the cells that you want results in. Then type your frequency formula in. So data rates the same as before. That's the data that you're doing the frequency distribution calculation on. And then bins array are the bins that you've typed in here. You don't need to select more. Close the bracket, and then you have to use Control shift enter to confirm your formula because frequency is an array formula. But you get the same results. So now we're ready to create a chart if we want to do that, a histogram chart. So I could select that data there, go to insert, and there is a histogram chart type here, but that would be used directly on the data, the, the raw data that we have here. 
because we've created this frequency distribution table, we're going to have to use a column chart. So I'll just go for a clustered column. And then we need to do a little bit of work here because you're not meant to have gaps between the columns in a histogram chart. So if I double click on one of these columns, that'll bring up the format data series task pane on the right of the screen. And all I need to do is change the gap width down to zero. And I've got my histogram chart. Let's go on and look at the second method you can use. Now the second method requires you to activate an add-in. If you go to File, Options, Add-ins, click on Go right at the bottom here. Analysis Tool Pack, that's what you want to activate. And if you go to the Data tab on your ribbon, you should have a Data Analysis button. And you've got lots of modules here, but we want the Histogram option. Input range, so that's your ages, or in this example, it's the ages. Bin range, so that's our bin range there. Output range, well, let's go for F1. And let's say we want a chart. So there we are, we get exactly the same results as we had using the previous method, but it did the frequency calculations for us and it gave us the beginnings of a histogram chart. I can double click on one of these columns, change the gap width. But using this method, the horizontal category axis labels aren't quite as good as the chart that we created for ourselves. Also using this method, if I change the data over here, these values won't update. So the first method is probably better overall, even though the second method is slightly quicker to use. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next video.